women murdered at the music festival? They were. Was that justified? Yes. I'm Adam Gillette with Accuracy in Media. Today we've brought our anti-Semitism accountability project to Seattle, Washington, where anti-Semitic educator Ian Golosh is openly pro-Hamas and also endorses ethnic cleansing. He even makes flyers for students promoting ethnic cleansing. Yet despite this, the Seattle public school system has done nothing to hold him accountable. That's where we step in. Hey, good afternoon. What do you think about Ian Golosh and his anti-Semitism? What are your thoughts? I don't like it, honestly. How has he not been fired yet? Like, I've read his posts. He's anti-Semitic. Have you had him as a teacher? I actually am a part of his class right now. He's taking us out as an example of free speech. So he's taking you out of the class to us right now? Yeah, he's right, he's right down there. Mr. Golash, how are you? Doing great. I think one child dying is terrible, but I would never endorse killing women at a music festival. But you said that was merely resistance to oppression, is that right? No, that's not what I said. Your post said that oppressors don't get to choose the form of resistance used against them. You didn't write that? That is true. Well, then was what happened to Israel on October 7th justified? Yes. <laughs> the rape of women at a music festival was justified. Where's the evidence that there was rape? Were women murdered at the music festival? They were. Was that justified? Yes. The murder of innocent women just attending a music festival, that was justified in your opinion? No, I think resistance against Israel is justified, yes. Is America an oppressor state? Yeah. Would it then be acceptable to go to Bonnaroo or Lollapalooza and kill a bunch of civilians? It's just like a stupid argument. So Mr. Golash, how many arrests is it? Is it two? Did you say all cops are bastards before or after the arrests? Since day one. And all cops, every cop is a bastard? Yeah. The cops who ran inside the buildings on 9-11 and saved civilians, were they bastards as well? All cops are bastards. There's genuine injustices going on in the world, but then the people who back those injustices are so radical that they end up just looping back around to the things that I don't support. Mr. Golash has said that he's a communist. I have a friend who's in one of his classes and he was supposed to write an essay on how capitalism was bad, but- Was that the assignment? I believe so, yeah. But to my knowledge, there has been no communist country that has worked well for the people at all. Nobody really wants to talk to him and like explain what he did wrong, but they like really don't like him. Do most students know about his arrest record? I do. I don't know if a lot of other people do, but I do. He has an arrest yeah. record? He has an arrest record. Yeah, you didn't know that? He's been arrested a couple times. That does not surprise me at all. Yeah, no, he's a troubled individual. The district sent out some kind of statement about Golosh, right? Uh, yeah, they basically said that they weren't going to fire him. That's kind of it. Do you think they did anything to hold him accountable? No, they didn't do anything. Were parents outraged? Mine were. Guys, to take that over there, please. Sure. Thank you. Wh what are your thoughts on the district employing anti Semites? I don't want to talk about it, man. No yeah. thoughts at all? No, no. No thoughts. Okay. Well, we'll Thank stay you. on public property. Hey, good afternoon. What do you think about this? This guy's an anti Semite and a Seattle public school teacher. It's upsetting that what's been going on on the far left with stuff like this that's going on. Any other thoughts? Uh, I don't like anti-Semitism. Here, here. Cheers, man. <laughs> Have a great day.